Dance Clip Tone Productions. Twist Alley's Twisted Clips. Hello, my friends. So I put together three horrifying clips for you, so grab your teddy bear because these clips are going to make you call for your mommy. Enjoy. clip comes from, in my opinion, one of the best paranormal channels on YouTube, Mindseed TV. In this clip they travel to a remote ghost town in Rodney, Mississippi, where Casey has been previously with his old partner Tanner. This time he is with Colton, and they decided to find a good place to bring a blood-filled amulet that was dropped off by crows in Colton's mother's backyard. Yes, you heard that right, and the clip tells all. All right, guys, so today we are actually on our way to the to evaluate a blood-filled blood amulet that was dropped off in his mother's yard by crows. Okay, wait, pause. I know some of you at this point are asking yourselves, what is he even talking about? A blood-filled amulet dropped off by crows? Yes. While Colton and I were live streaming on our Patreon one night, his mother texted him in the middle of a live stream and said that two crows were in her backyard and they dropped this in the yard. These crows came and dropped off a blood-filled amulet. No way. In my mom's fucking yard. They just, they dropped it in the yard? That's insane. Bro. I was gonna say bring it uh on the next string of investigations we're going on we'll just keep it on us and see if it uh see what it do see if it provokes anything or yeah that's yeah, weird bro that's fucking weird as you got it on you yep so we're taking it to uh a place that you previously got an activity yeah and we're gonna see if we can use it as a trigger object also full disclaimer don't try this at home yeah um probably not the best idea for you yeah we've got to go through a lot of wildlife and woods to get to this ghost town and uh we didn't want to do this in someone's house or like a haunted location we're going pretty much to the middle of nowhere so that if there is any kind of attachment it's not going to be uh released into someone's property yeah that makes sense these bugs man i'm telling you i remember feeling slightly anxious maybe that we were lost um, but suddenly that anxiety turned into pure terror. Hey, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. The f is that? Shh. There's a fucking fire up there. There's somebody out there, bro. Hold on. Here, hold this for a second. Wait, bro, hold this for a second. I'm gonna turn on the night vision, wait. someone in the middle of the woods in the middle of nowhere flat the f out and I, I, we did i i did not sign up for the f at all and yes. i think that they're following us every time we go about 100 yards we hear branches and breaking behind us yeah i'm not trying to get cut up by some backwards hip although dude i think we might be coming up on the town now but uh there's definitely someone out here following us so we need to move quick you can hear me in the footage. I was f***ing scared. There's a f fire up there. There's somebody out there, bro. This wasn't normal. This was not some tourist campgrounds. No one should be out here like this. Hold on. Here, hold this for a second. Wait, bro, hold this for a second. 
I didn't have night vision binoculars, so all I could see was a dim campfire about 75 to 100 yards away. Dude, I didn't set up for this shit. There's people out here, we gotta go. Yeah, I don't know what As I was looking through the night vision binoculars, it's really bright in your eyes, and it kind of made me blind to everything else around me. And as I was trying to get a clear view of what was up ahead, I must have leaned on a small branch or a twig because it snapped and instantly I froze in fear. and he's there in the darkness staring directly at us. Are you kidding me? No. No, Let's go. What the f was he doing out there? I think what scared me the most was the fact it seemed like he could see us perfectly in pitch black darkness. I could see what appeared to be a light pole in the distance and also uh, some dirt roads coming up ahead of us. However, we weren't anywhere close to safety yet. I think we're coming up though. Mine's dying too. Wait, 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 wait. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. There's someone else up there. Someone just ran across this fucking Dude, street. Dude, we can't. Where are we supposed to go then? Shh. I hear something. Wait. We need to move. We need to move. Dude, let's go left. Let's go left. Let's go right. Let's go this way. When I saw another person, what looked to me like they were creeping past us, my heart sunk to my stomach. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 wait. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. And I could tell through the night vision this was a completely different person than the last one we just saw. I felt like we were being hunted. The way these people were moving through the dark with no flashlights, no lights, it felt like predators surrounding prey. We had to make a couple detours. And I think that this is the town that we're looking for, but we are not alone out here. Go for it. Whew. Never in my life Finally make it to the place that they were looking here. for. This is the real deal, Where the bro. craziest thing happens out of nowhere. This is the real deal. These are the altars, man. No way. Be hella careful. Oh, yeah. Definitely. What's up? Nothing. So, how about this? <coughs> it's dusty in here. Let's put that amulet on this altar. Okay. Now let's fucking leave it here tonight. All right. We had some shelter, if you want to call it shelter, we had something to go into to get us out of the woods. Since we were there, we figured we might as well give it a shot and see if we can make some sort of communication before we get the hell out of here. This is our first time opening this package. But I have a feeling there's something really bad attached to it, and that's why we have wrapped it wrapped it in prayers. Oh, wow. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. I have no idea what to expect out of this fucking thing right now, bro. She really didn't want to send this thing to me, man. I really don't want to her footsteps, bro. Even. Downstairs, yeah. Hello? Hey, guys. Dude. Let me see. What is it? Oh, shit. Let me look at that thing. No way, dude. Alright, we gotta run some tests, bro. Try to see if there's something attached to this thing. This is hell of 
Too much too man. fast, man. Here, hold this. I gotta go in my bag. We don't have a lot of time with these lights here. Do we have film for the Spectra? Yeah, let's let's do this here. Okay, pop okay, okay. We'll pop some pictures in here too. Oh, I'm already getting sh heard some the whispers. Help. We knew that there were wild boars out there, but it was hard to tell what was making that noise. And I kept muting the spirit box to see if I could hear it. I couldn't quite catch it at the right time. You ever seen a boar attack? Oh, f they're bad. I'm sorry. The f okay. But then the unexpected happened. That's it. Can you please give us a message through one of these devices? You can say something through this. You can say something through this. Give us a message. Oh! The entire building began to shake as we were trying to make communication with what we thought was a cursed blood-filled amulet. What are the chances that an earthquake or a tremor would happen in this exact moment? Or maybe, just maybe, we released something that we shouldn't have. Oh, man. Oh, God. The f***ing building rumbled. That was enough for us to say it's time to go. like that in my life. Dude, that was way more than We need to find our way back to the car like now. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready to get out of here. I don't even know where. We gotta go back that way in the woods. As you could probably imagine, the last thing on our mind at this point in time was filming. All we wanted to do was locate the vehicle safely. However, after searching for what felt like hours in the darkness, we finally found the car, and one of the scariest things that anybody could imagine happened to us next. Watch this. No. Hey. What the f hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is definitely the way we came, right? Hundred percent. This is the only way. This is the only way. Yeah. Pull up a little bit, get closer, so I can see what's going on. It's gonna. F our tires out too. Yeah. Alright, I'm moving. Make sure to check Mind Seed out. They are a great channel if you're into paranormal and apparently crazy hillbillies too. Links in the description. Kid. Bro, I think there's someone back there. No, don't say yeah. that. Lock the door. Lock the door. Yeah. Yeah. What do you see? Oh, I'm trying to see. How far away? How far away? Oh, he's running, bro. Jump, 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 jump. Hold. Number two. This next clip comes from another one of my favorite channels, Urbex Hill. 
This clip shows how dangerous urban exploring can really be. Chris explores some of the most dangerous and terrifying places in Cleveland and surrounding areas. His link will be in the description. He has some great content, go check him out. I don't know how he does this alone, I don't think I'd risk it personally, but he does carry. But power in numbers if there's a few people could get ugly. But respect to Chris for the content, it's unlike most explorers, very well done. Anyway, I'll zip it so you can see for yourself. Shit, it just keeps going. Oh my God. This is crazy. This is creepy, guys. Holy oh, shit. The places he goes reminds me of horror games like Silent Hill and Resident Evil. It's like watching a live horror game in some parts. It's creepy. What does that say? <clears throat> Help. I'm not gonna lie, that's kinda creepy. Nothing. Some shoes back there.
Oh shit, look. It's like blood on the floor. Oh shit, there's a bunch. Look at this. Oh, it's a trail of blood. That's crazy. What's that? What the hell? That's vandalism. That's foul. Somebody was bleeding. Is this real? What the fuck? Bro. It's on the f and everything. What? This can't be real. That is crazy. That is I'm gonna put 666 on the door. But that does look real. I hope it's not. Oh shit. Yo, there are bullet cases. At this point in the video, some additional narration is required. You see, unfortunately at this exact moment, my camera stopped recording, but I immediately noticed and pressed record to continue filming. I also want to point out that normally in a situation like this, I would have remained calm. But after hearing the stories of the murder that took place here, and seeing what looks like blood and bullet casings on the floor, I decided to leave, instead of investigating any further. Somebody's in there. Make sure you check out his channel, it's Urban Exploring at its scariest at Urbex Hill. Links in the description. F*** that. That's somebody in there. That's actually kind of creepy to see, written down.
That's crazy. Number three. This next clip comes from good old Mo G. In this clip, he almost gets his pecker cut off by some psycho with a machete. But luckily, he's like Speedy Gonzalez. But no, seriously, the guy's got a family at home, and it's the last thing they need to hear. So be careful out there, Mr. Balls of Steel. Okay, for your family. But yeah, he's got some good content as well. Go check his channel links in description, and get ready. Check this out out of the window there's something paranormal here and i want to investigate it now there are, have been murders here in the past we did run into this drug dealer here in the past as well so i don't know what to expect i'm here by myself all i have is a gopro with me i don't have my actual main camera i accidentally forgot my memory card at home which really sucks but all i need from you guys is to smash the hell of that like button i need your prayers in the comments below let's get on with this adventure all right you guys here we go look at this investigation begins of this creepy resort i am all by myself i don't know what to expect. I had some weird things happen here the last time I was here and I was here in the daytime, but now all I have is my GoPro and this one flashlight in my hand and that's it. Usually I come prepared, but it was a long drive to get here from my house here in the Dominican. And right now I'm, I'm not so prepared. And to be honest, I'm feeling kind of scared. Now, the last time that I was here, I had Ivan with me for security. He's not here. He couldn't make it out with me today. He has his family. He has things to do. But uh, <laughs> this is it, man. I mean, what could go wrong, right? I, I'm, I'm sure I'll be okay. I did run into this drug dealer guy that lives here and has these vicious dogs, but it's on the other side of the resort. I'm not going to go anywhere near that building. I'm just going to stick to these buildings. And these buildings are basically where... I seen something in my video, which you guys pointed out here. Let me show it to you guys. When I was out here, I think I was ending off my video or something. And I know it's going to get a bit dark because GoPros absolutely suck at nighttime. No matter what, I'm using a GoPro 10. Something from, I guess it's this window here or one of those windows over there. Something fell out while I was ending my video in the background. Now, I didn't see it. You guys pointed it out, which is what why I went back and re reviewed it. And I couldn't tell what it was. It, it looked like a doll or something that fell out of the window. So, uh, I don't know. I hear a cat meowing. There's bats everywhere. Hello? Ooh, there's a big old bat right there. I'm hearing music too, which is interesting. There's not, there's no one here. Music's probably coming from the beaches. Down on the beaches, people have parties. And, uh, you know, the sound travels on the water. So I'm pretty sure it was this building here. Fell out of this window. So I'm gonna go upstairs, check it out and see if there's anything upstairs, something paranormal, something creepy. Let's go up inside and check it out. Man, I'm hearing some weird cat noises up in this place. I feel like I'm being followed. I hope. Hey, kitty, where are you? All right, cats are kind of a bad sign in the darkness and abandoned places in my culture. It could indicate a jinn because cats do kind of transform. But right now, I'm going into the resort. This is called the Sandcastle Resort. Whoa, look at this, guys. Kind of got to be careful here. Because there are... What the fuck is that? Oh, what is that? Hello? Oh, what the f***? Hey, man. I, I don't mean any trouble, bro. He's got, he's got a machete. Hey, I don't mean any trouble, man. No! Yo, I don't, I don't mean any trouble, bro. Shh. Yo, there's a guy with a machete. There's a guy with shit. What is he saying? Okay. Um, 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 um. Okay. Oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I got a rock. Shit, I gotta hide, I gotta hide somewhere. Fuck, guys, guys, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Shit. Okay, I gotta jump out. I gotta, I gotta find a way out of here. 
oh my god, there's a guy with a f***ing machete. There's a guy with a f***ing machete and he's coming after me. Oh. Okay, maybe, maybe it's just someone messing around. Yo, man, I don't mean you any harm, bro. I'm just making a video. Oh, no. Please, yo, dude, why do you have... Bro, bro, I got a rock. Hey, don't hey, f hey, me. I got a rock. Shit, shit, shit. Guys, I go. Shit, there's a guy with a fucking machete coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, guys. Oh, I might have to jump buildings. I might have to jump buildings. There's a guy with a f machete coming after me. Oh my god. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, I might be able to jump down through here. There's a guy with a f machete. Where'd he come from? I'm gonna turn off my lights. I'm gonna walk in the darkness. See anything? Okay. okay. I'm being chased by someone in an abandoned resort. If I die today, there's a guy with a fucking machete. If I die today, just I'm, I'm filming a video here. I'm not trying to hurt anyone. Where is he? Hello? Pray for me, I'm really... I have a stick with a nail, I have a stick with a nail. Yo, man. Yo, bro, chill. 
Chill, chill. Huh? Chill, chill. I'm not trying to hurt you, man. Get the killer. Get man, the what the hell's wrong with you? Huh? What's wrong with me? I'm not doing anything. Man, man, you come to my house. Why would you do this? This is a, an abandoned resort. It's not your man, house. Man, Bro, screw off. Dude, I'll give you money. Chill. I'm not in the money. Let me f off. Then f off, then. Seriously. F off. How about that? No, seriously. F off. You can f off. You ain't gonna do shit. You ain't gonna do shit. You're all tough with a f***ing machete. No, you're, you're just... Right? that. You're just tough with a f***ing machete. I just climbed this damn building. Bro, you drop that machete, we're gonna have a fight. You drop that machete. You drop that machete, we're gonna have a f***ing fight. Trust me on that. The only reason why I'm running is because you have a machete. Trust me. Trust me. What's he coming looking for? I'm, I'm just filming a video. Man, this is a job, man, bro. Bro, this ain't, there, bro. This ain't your place man, either. Pull. I don't give a f about no police. Bro, you got the machete. You're the one that's going to jail. Dude, this guy's on crack. Bro. This guy. This guy. Okay, I gotta. So, I've established this guy's on crack. Something, some type of drug. He's swinging a machete recklessly. He's got no proper motor skills. He's just wild. But he will try to kill me with that machete. He's, he swung at me. He almost got me too. And if he didn't have that machete, I'd be knocking this guy out right now. No joke. I would never run off oh, this guy, he's coming. But because he's got a machete, I gotta be careful. Okay, f this place, I gotta go. This is not good at all. I think it's time for me to get out of here, but I gotta find a way out of here. I'm all covered in dust and dirt. What is this bathroom? I wish I spoke the language. I wish I understood what he was saying. Guys, if you speak Spanish, let me know in the comments below. He's still yelling. Okay. He's tweaking. He's on drugs. The thing is, is, I can't walk around without a light, and he's seen my light. Hey, chill, bro. You gotta lay off the drugs, man. Bro. Dude, lay off the drugs. Bro, I'll hook you up with whatever you, whatever you want. Dude, just dro drop the machete and fight me like a man if you want to fight. Drop the machete and fight me like a man. I'm gonna your head now. I don't care what anyone says, that would be terrifying. I've established that this guy's taking some sort of substance. So that means I can outrun him. What? Jesus Christ. Bro, chill, please. No, shit. Shit. No, Dude, take it easy, man. What do you want? I'll give you whatever you want. I'll give you whatever you want. That's crazy. What the f*** does he want? Do you have friends here? Do you have anyone that can actually speak a proper sentence? Oh, you understood that, didn't you? Yeah, well, fuck you. Fuck you, how about that? Fuck you. is all the way on the other side. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go lights off. I'm going lights off. Oh, all I got is, oh shit, there he is, there he is. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Guys, I'm gonna, I have to run past him because my car is over there. I can't go through the jungle. I don't know what animals are waiting in there. I'm gonna wait till he disappears. I don't know where he is. Okay, I gotta go through this building here. I think he went back that way. To my left. I gotta go through this building here. Cause I gotta cut through this building and cut through the other building. I don't wanna be out in the open in case he's out here. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. See, I told you he's fast. One of the quickest urban explorers I've ever seen, that's for sure. What the f***? What the f***? 
What the fuck? Oh, oh, shit, shit. Okay, okay. Pull. Oh my god. This could have gone so very wrong, but he got a way to live another day, hey, and Moe's hey, link hey, is dude, in description. Dude, chill, 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 I think he chill. even comes back and gets stop, that guy stop, with stop, the machete stop. a job. Stop, man. That's the heart Mo over. has, he is definitely a great man. guy. Go check him out. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Got tons more, so watch for those. And I'm a new channel, so subscribe and smash that like button and please share on social media for me. I'm trying to build my channel and get all the right horror fans watching, so anything you do helps my channel. And thank you to the ones that do it is very much appreciated. I also have a horror story channel, so if you're into chilling twisted stories, my link's in description. It's Twist Ellie's Twisted Tales. I have over 80 stories and tons to come. So subscribe there as well if horror is your thing. Both channels will serve you well. And until next time, my friends, I will see you on the dark side. Sweet nightmares.